Okay, today we're talking about uh, wall thickness when you're trying to print something. So what we're going to do is create a new model. Um, so you're going to go to your Tinkercad dashboard, our 3D designs, create a new design. And this model is going to talk about the thickness of walls. And so what we're talking about here is what is the point that is too thin for our printer to effectively and reliably print. And so that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to go in rename your model your first name uh, dash wall thickness so we know what our model is about and we are going to drag in a box so the first thing we do is drag a box into our table we're going to make the height of the box uh, three millimeters tall because we just want this to be a platform for us and we want to make the platform 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters so 40 by 40. So that is going to be our base platform that we're going to put everything onto. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a work plane to the top of our platform, because really what we're going to do is we're just showing thickness of walls. And so we're going to make some walls of different thickness of varying thickness to show you guys how this works. So I'm going to drag my work plane in here, put it right on top. So I know that everything is there. I'm going to drag another box on here. And for this box, what we're going to do is we're going to make it 10 millimeters tall because we don't want it to be super tall. 10 millimeters tall, It's we're going to keep it at that 20 millimeters, right? But for this very first box, we're going to make it 0.1 millimeters thick. 0.1 millimeters thick, right? So this is going to be a super, super thin wall. So we're going to move this wall over, but we're going to put it right on our on our platform here so we're just going to kind of get it in there and what we want to do is we want that to be in the middle so we're going to align it and we're going to align this in the middle and what that's going to do is that's going to put that wall directly in the middle okay so again we're going to grab both of them and we're going to align it to the middle so we're going to grab both of them hit the alignment tool and we want to line up in the middle remember these top middle bottom this is to the right this is directly center this is aligned all the way to the left we just want this aligned in the middle <coughs> so that's going to be our first block of 0.1 millimeter okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this so Control d to duplicate it we're going to drag this out some we'll drag this so that it is six millimeters away oh i didn't want to duplicate the whole thing uh oh hold on here i didn't want to duplicate the whole thing so i'm going to click off here let's get rid of that let's get out of this then bring my work plane back here i want just that model control d duplicate there it is so now i've duplicated the right thing i'm going to drag this over so it's going to drag over uh, we'll make this a we'll make this a six millimeters over. So we're gonna drag this six millimeters over. Make sure that that says zero, so that you know that they're lined up, so that it's lined up perfectly. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to the width, click on that width of it, and we're gonna make this a 0.4 millimeters. So that's gonna be a 0.4 millimeters. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna duplicate this model. Duplicate this piece, control D, drag this over. We're gonna drag this over six millimeters, make sure it's level at the zero, right? And then we're gonna make the width of this is going to be point, we'll make this one millimeter, right? We'll make this one millimeter in thickness and we're going to drag one more and we're going to get this here control c uh, control d to duplicate it control d to duplicate it drag this over make sure it's going over six millimeters staying flat and we're going to make this here so this is going to be uh, we'll make this here five millimeters. 
Okay, and this one we're actually going to have to drag over some more. So we want to get this a little bit of space there. So this one we're just going to get some space in there just so you can see what you've got, just so you got some space. So we're going to make sure that we get some space. We'll actually make that so it's 12 millimeters over just so you've got some space. Okay, so here is what we're what we're talking about. So this is going to be your model that you're going to export your STL and submit it. So to export the STL, remember, you're going to go up here to export. We're going to hit the export button, export it as an STL. This will download the file to your Chromebook. And then that is the file that you would attach to this work. So here's where we're looking at it. Our model, our uh, for walls, um, our 3D printer nozzle head is is 0.4 millimeters in diameter. So that means that the the thread coming out is that is the 0.4 millimeters is for our for our nozzle of our di of our head. So what we want to do is there's a certain point over here. This 0.1 millimeter it will not print this 0.2 millimeter here it will not print okay so this wall and this wall the the one that's the 0.4 this is exactly the the head of our of our model so 0.4 millimeters will will have some issues it would print but it would have some issues one millimeter thickness of a wall will not print forth or the 0.1 millimeter our standard our minimum standard is going to be one solid millimeter so we won't ever print a um, wall that is less than one full millimeter. And that gives us a good rule of thumb. It's a little bit more than twice the diameter of our nozzle head. So the nozzle head is 0.4 millimeters. So times two would be 0.8. We give a little bit of a tolerance there. So we put it at one millimeter. So for our class, one millimeter is the minimum thickness for our wall. Conversely, if we look over here, this is going to be the thickness of our wall, which is five millimeters. And that is going to be too much. So we won't ever print a wall that is thicker. That's the thickness of five millimeters. So right in here, our limit, our beginning is one millimeter. And then the maximum is going to be the five millimeter, actually one less than that. So less than five millimeters would be the thickness of our wall. Because we really don't want any kind of a wall or a line that's going to be that thick. So if we're trying to make walls or things of that nature, we want to make them between one and four millimeters in thickness, depending on what our product is going to be. And that is your wall thickness that you're working on for today.